I'm uh, Sean Waters and I work with Barbara Wakax in Morocco. Um, I've been working with Barbara Wakax since 2004 and I set up uh, a long-term conservation project in 2009. Barbara Cats are endangered for a number of reasons, um, destruction of their habitat for example, um, but also because of the illegal trade in infant macaques as pets. That has decimated a number of quite numerous populations in the Middle and High Atlas Mountains in Morocco. Uh, I'm very interested in uh, people-primate uh, relations and uh, Morocco is quite close by Quite, quite close to Europe and nobody seemed to be working with the barbara macaques in the Rift Mountains in Morocco so I thought it might be a good idea to go and have a look and see what was happening. Okay, uh, I'm the director of BMAC and I employ a small team of Moroccans who work as macaque monitors looking after the macaques in the forest making sure they're not too bothered by people and dogs which is a problem for them. Um, and we also do an awful lot of education and awareness of Moroccan people because they have a very low awareness of wildlife conservation and welfare. We do lots of other things as well. We work very closely with communities um, because we believe that there's communities who should be, you know, who should be included in any conservation activity. Uh, we use the donations from Helsinki Zoo that I know you all work very hard to raise. Um, we use them to help us uh, monitor the macaques to send out our guys into the field to make sure nobody's bothering the cacks. We use the money also to prepare uh, and develop education materials and um, we also use it to uh, uh, help us um, spread the word basically about borrow cacks everywhere. I think um, it's important to understand that the Moroccans don't necessarily see the Barbara macaques the way that Western culture does, that Europeans do. So for them, it's, they're very much revenue generators. Um, they have a use rather than just valued intrinsically. But what I've also found is that people who live in Barbara macaque habitats, some of them also are very interested in wildlife, but it's not being socially acceptable for them to talk about it, and now it is. Um, it's also uh, one of the most important things I think is sharing information and raising awareness about barber macaques amongst Moroccans. Um, you can also, as you do already, raise awareness about the plight of barber macaques, particularly those that are confiscated in Europe um, because they're often in a very bad state psychologically. It's a good way to, to make sure that people understand that primates really don't make good pets, whatever the species. And also by um, helping, helping us by raising uh, funding for us to continue our work on the ground in Morocco. I'd like to take this opportunity to, every, to say to everyone at Helsinki Zoo and to all your, uh, to the public who donate uh, to conservation projects and to our work in particular, thank you very much. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So thanks. Mm -hmm.